Hello everyone and welcome to my update on my release 2. At the moment the Eon is busy rebooting and we can see that it's being pulled, a new update is being pulled and it's busy recompiling so that can take a few minutes till we start. At the moment we're running on a Toyota RAV4 hybrid. Um, the things that are custom, the air vent, so that the Eon is cooled nicely, and quite important, you should not forget to pray while you're busy trying to do autonomous driving. The grey panda nicely set up there. And as we wait, I can explain what's different. In this release too, there comes two updates. An update for the old Neo S system. And this is for the touch buttons, for the touch UI to work properly. And also break before curves, where previously it would only break in the curves. Now it will break as well before the curves. That's only 2.5 seconds as the visual system only gives 2.5 seconds ahead notice. So the Eon has finished booting. Now we can depress the brake and start the system. You see the Toyota symbol has been made smaller and the buttons work as they should. We have the gas button which gives you a little bit more gas at the start. Starting and engaging here would be not so good on my incline because Open Pilot does not have enough power to get me up, even with gas on. <clears throat> but as soon as we get going, that should be fine. We also have the TR, which Comma named it like that. That is for following distance. So later when we switch on open pilot, usually you see we're in a 30 zone and I would already from here start engaging, but because I have slow mode on, the engaged speed, which says 68, which is actually 28, is what I get because it's offsetting the set speed. If you want that off, you can just tap the slow button and it would go faster. At the moment, it's running my GPS code. What's happening is there is a roundabout. We need to wait for the car, but that roundabout there has been programmed. If I approach it within 150 meters, the maximum set speed that I can put, if you see the set speed going up, is 25. <clears throat> what still hasn't been done is I can't avoid the cars from there, but so is it. <clears throat> okay, we can resume, and oh, it jumps to 30 because we had the set speed higher. As soon as you exit the roundabout, it will exit without any problem and resume the speed. We're on a hundred kilometer per hour road and as you see the steering wheel turn you notice these curves that we were taking are 80 curves. Open pilot won't make it so well and so it will reduce the set speed a little bit and then brake as well if it notices that the desired steer becomes too high. On the display you see that the um, alert for the road departure, road lane departure comes up because our roads are quite thin and open pilot just drifts a little bit and already you have the alert coming up. But otherwise it's doing a pretty good job on my way to work. Here's another steep curve. Open pilot reduces, brakes, accelerates, turns, 
and no problem. Previously I would take this road at 70 kilometers per hour. I upped that to 80 with the last update. Now we can test the TR button. The TR button when pressed toggles the following distance. So you just press it, it taps on and off and then the following distance is reduced. At very at one bar it's actually very close, 0 0.9 seconds. That's less than the reaction time, so Open Pilot really needs to work, otherwise you'll probably crash into another car. I'll reduce the set speed now to 70 here as we enter the town. We're going to be approaching another roundabout, and so the GPS code works like this. It checks the height because left of me is a highway that is a few meters higher and as soon as we now come down onto this road we should see the set speed drop down to 25. It might be a little bit late, we're approaching at too fast a speed and I will disengage. I need to find a way to get that to work better because that's quite dangerous approaching at such high speeds but comma is coming out with a very new code that's using open street maps and so it might be fixed with that now again we're up and we should also go to 25 but that's way too late way 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 too late that's in the code quite nicely. You can set the approach distance on the roundabouts, what set speed it should have, and inside the roundabouts, what set speed it should have. And you see the set speed changing with regard to steering angle. As soon as I turn my steering, angle, steering wheel around, it will only limit the set speed to what is possible. Okay, let's see if this roundabout actually works well. We should be entering a 50 zone. There we go, the 50 zone, the 25 for the roundabout, but still way too fast in approaching. Previously I had the approach distance on 200 meters, and with 200 meters it was a little bit too early. And it seems like 150 is maybe just a bit too late. Again we see the 50, the road sign detection works pretty well, we should see the 50 there. It's not doing anything with that at the moment, but later in the code it should. Here we see the 150 for 50 speed, no problem, it actually reduces a few meters early. I can enter the roundabout, no issues. It slows down a little bit because of the acceleration in the corner. And now we can resume the normal open pilot. The road here is not pretty clean because of the snow, so the lane lines are not so clear. But we will see how open pilot does. So at the moment, the max speed on this road is 70, and open pilot is set at 69. You see the mini car is also working there's no mini car on the display but that only works like the lane departure above 40 kilometers per hour let's go for the other buttons we have sound as long as the volume is up you should actually hear when you disengage and engage the Tesla sound schemes which yeah irritate me a little bit so that's why they're off and again, we're approaching a roundabout. This time, 25 is a little bit earlier, but still way not enough that we have enough time for it to reduce the speed. <clears throat> so I'm working on that to get that to B so that I don't need to disengage anymore and just let it on engaged from my home till my work. And now we're back up to 70. Um, 
we have the ALC. If you press that, the auto lane change, it actually has a Wi-Fi mode. And if you press it again in Mad Max mode, again, this, these roundabouts are quite crazy here in Germany. They will cause quite the issue. But I couldn't just engage Open Pilot now till the end because now the set speed should be quite nicely set here, 30 kilometers per hour, and so it will just run 30 till the end. On this road, I don't really have anything where I can show you the auto lane change. Once I turn into work here and drift a little bit, it should pick up the 10 kilometers per hour. And so we have arrived quite safely with that last drift being quite a little bit too much speed there. And so with the camera system, it would be nice if we could just hook up into the camera system. But at the moment, there's nothing really to do that we can get access to those signals. Other than that, that is what's at the moment in the new release 2. The record button on the bottom right that one is there to record files so that you can record the whole display and it gets saved on the SD card. Tapping it again will stop it and the lock button will, if it is off, run like a normal dash cam. So it will write a whole hours of video and then overwrite the video after it's finished. And that's the Toyota RAV4 with Open Pilot 0.5.7 on release 2 in snowy conditions, German road. At the moment, we're running a version 2F, as you see on the display.